Boost Oxygen is 95% oxygen compressed into convenient aluminum canisters for use by consumers. It's used by senior citizens, it's used by athletes, it's used by anybody who needs to recover more quickly from activities, whether it's exercising or just being out and about. Uh, we started Boost Oxygen 14 years ago. Uh, we saw the oxygen canisters over in Europe. Uh, I was an athlete in high school and college and played football and saw other football players using oxygen on the sidelines. We thought it would be a great idea to bring oxygen uh, to the masses. People normally don't have access to oxygen and we thought having a limited quantity oxygen canister would be beneficial to people who wanted to use it. So the air we breathe is actually only 21% oxygen. Most of it is actually 78% nitrogen. Boost oxygen is 95% pure aviators breathing oxygen, almost five times the amount of oxygen you're breathing normally. Since we pitched to the Sharks, we've had a lot more interest in our company. And people understand that we're not just canned air, we're 95% pure oxygen. So we've gotten a lot more education uh, out there to the masses. One of the greatest benefits that we received in pitching to the Sharks and being seen on Shark Tank was being able to bring the message of supplemental oxygen to millions and millions of people who had never even heard of the concept before. It's just been a fantastic impact on the education of consumers for the benefits and the value of supplemental oxygen, as well as for our brand as the world's leader bringing it to consumers. Since we pitched to the Sharks, our business has grown over twofold. We have increased our doors with Walmart, we've increased our doors with Walgreens, with CVS, with independent pharmacies across the country, internationally, throughout 30 different countries, and it's been a wonderful experience. We've almost doubled the number of doors where you can find Boost Oxygen in the United States. Uh, where we were primarily located in sporting goods, in grocery stores, in uh, some convenience stores, and also uh, located in pharmacies, we've had just fantastic growth in independent pharmacies, chain pharmacies, big box. For example, our growth in Walmarts, in Kroger properties, in Walgreens, in CVS, and also thousands of other local retailers who learned about our product through Shark Tank uh, and through the increased education that uh, is out there about supplemental oxygen who have come on board as retailers. In the five years before we aired on Shark Tank, we sold about 2.5 million canisters of Boost Oxygen. In the 18 months or so since Shark Tank, we've doubled that. We've already sold as many canisters in a year and a half as it took us the previous five years to sell. There are a lot of reasons why we have experienced such explosive growth since we aired, not the least of which has been the dedication that Kevin O'Leary has shown in his partnership to help us become a global brand. Kevin joined us on two QVC presentations this year and has participated in calls with Walmart and other big box retailers. And as a result, we're expanding our footprint with Walmart this year. We've obtained our explosive growth over the past 18 months uh, in no small part to what Shark Tank has done for us and Mr. Kevin O'Leary. Uh, but also the pandemic. A lot of people were searching for supplemental oxygen during the pandemic, and they've learned about boost oxygen through that way. Because of the pandemic, we saw a significant decrease in brick and mortar sales, and Kevin has been instrumental in assisting us doing the digital pivot to meet the demand, which has been explosive for online partners and online sales. When the pandemic struck, we were hit with an explosive demand for boost oxygen. We sold through three months of our safety stock and back stock in approximately a week and a half. And it took us several months of working with our suppliers to be able to meet the production required for us to meet that explosive demand. What we found was a lot of that demand had shifted from brick and mortar retailers, which had been closed or radically reduced their ability to sell to the online marketplaces. So we shifted our focus to be able to meet that incredible demand in the online marketplace. A big part of what we do at Boost Oxygen is educate consumers on the benefits that you can receive by using supplemental oxygen. And in order to do that, we've launched a learning center on our website. We've, re we've redesigned our website. What we're doing is we're providing as much information that we can to consumers so they can make their own educated decision as to whether Boost Oxygen is a product that they want to use or not. And we're finding that uh, with our explosive growth, our consumers love our product and they love learning about it. Boost Oxygen was a small company trying to grow into a larger company before we went on Shark Tank and now we are a medium-sized company continuing to grow. Uh, we're positioning ourselves by, by streamlining our business processes, by hiring sales staff, 
by hiring people inside our, our headquarters and inside our warehouse and our manufacturing facility. So we're able to meet that demand that we've uh, incurred to date and to be positioned to double again next year and the year after that. Oxygen is essential for the human body to function. Every system in our body utilizes oxygen, whether it's recovering from exercise, whether it's mental acuity and focus, whether it's aerobic recovery, oxygen is critical to each one and every one of our bodily functions. So like Gatorade back in the 1970s, people didn't understand that for hydration, electrolytes were great for recovery and performance. Same thing with supplemental oxygen. It's always been great for recovery and performance, but no one could ever have access to it. Boost Oxygen is changing that. My advice to entrepreneurs starting out is have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you have a plan to fail. Make sure that you look at all of your uh, future potential earnings and, and see if you have a viable business plan uh, and make hard decisions as to whether or not you want to go forward. Most, I think 95% of all business to start up fail and it's because of poor planning from the outset. My advice to young budding entrepreneurs is to make sure that you understand what you're trying to do and that you're willing to work harder than you've ever worked at anything in your life. You can have a great idea, but if you can't bring the message of what you're trying to do to consumers in such a way that they are going to pay for your product or your service, uh, then you're not going to be successful. The most difficult obstacle that we've had here at Boost Oxygen building the business has been educating the consumer. There are a lot of people that just think that oxygen is just canned air and getting that message out uh, that oxygen, supplemental oxygen, boost oxygen is 95% pure has been the biggest hurdle and continues to be to this day. It's been an absolutely fantastic ride being part of the boost oxygen team. It's really inspirational to be able to reach people with a product that didn't exist 14 years ago and the millions of people that now know about it and rely on it and use it on a daily basis. It's been exciting to be a part of an organization that is the world's leader in creating an entirely new business vertical for consumer oxygen, uh, very similar to the bottled water industry 40 years ago. Uh, we're on the leading edge of, of bringing an entirely new idea forward and we're helping millions of people as we do so.